how are you? Today's video is about a book I finally finished because basically that's a long story. Uh, this is a book Broken Mirrors by Marie McWilliams. Let me get you into the spirit. When Marie moves from Belfast to London, she envisions a fresh start and an escape from a broken, abusive home. Once there, she meets Malcolm Carter, a charming, handsome man who sweeps her off her feet and gives her a life she could only have dreamed of. Sounds good. But Malcolm isn't all he seems. He's a criminal, a mobster, and a murderer. Detective Fraser Duncan knows what he is, and he's determined to take him down. But with Jonathan Savage appearing on the scene, a brutal and sadistic gang leader, spreading violence and death across London, he is not the only one, as Savage sets his sights on Malcolm's buyer. When Marie chooses to stay with Malcolm, Regardless of what he is and what he has done, she starts down a path from which she can never return. Now that Savage has taken Marie, Duncan and Malcolm must set their differences aside and join forces in a race against time to save the woman they love. What to say? This was uh, this was a, a mini description, let's say, uh, to the book. I like very much. Uh, it's a hard cover. I like it very much. I like hard covers basically, and um, the illustration is amazing. The colors, the dark uh, theme. Uh, the skeleton, you know, the teeth and uh, like uh, scrabble tiles, amazing. And uh, the back, the back part, which is like uh, neon, let's say green, amazing. So, I I have bought this uh, book a long time ago, I believe back in 2021 it was somewhere back in time um, I have started it and uh, for various reasons I let it sit in my library and uh, this year's Goodreads challenge made me do it you know like the conjuring the devil made me do it goodreads made me do it <laughs> so yes this was a good thing because i finally finished it of course i i started from the beginning because pff, so much time has passed that uh, i couldn't uh, continue from where i was and uh, it wasn't let's uh, let me get it straight. Uh, it wasn't uh, the book that made me read it in uh, such a slow and uh, uh, long uh, time period. Uh, it was uh, me and uh, my weirdo relationship with reading. Uh, totally this. So I'm, I'm very glad I'm very glad that I started it again and finally finished it. Uh, and a, a bit sad because, you know, I would... Uh, now I am killing for a sequel and uh, I would love... I would love to... to hear more from these characters that uh, I fell in love with. So, yes, uh, so let me say some things about the book without making spoilers. 
where it's possible. I believe I can do this. Okay, I'll definitely try. So, we have Marie, an elegant creature, a, a woman that uh, is so beautiful and, uh, you know, elegant, let's say again, <laughs> and comes from an abusive home, like uh, you heard in the description. Uh, her father was an alcoholic and uh, the situation she, she have uh, experienced, let's say, uh, were a bit rough for her age and from a little age, so she, will, she had a deeper connection with her uh, grandma and uh, another level of love. Uh, but she decided to leave and went to stay to London at a cousin of hers. So they stay together, two women, basically girls that are about to become women and uh, figures and um, heroines and uh, you know basically kick the shit out of anyone that uh, messes with her but that is another um, thing a long later at our uh, this story and uh, the thing is that uh, this girl this woman Marie gets to know uh, another amazing man uh, that uh, they fall in love immediately and the story becomes like uh, Dreamy, but dreamy is a thing or it's a well-made uh, protected bubble that will blow and shatter into pieces. We will see later in the story. And you know, you empathize with uh, Mari and uh, you feel that uh, is she deceived and uh, is he will she be buried deep into this plot and you know end up broken and very very sad or maybe dead we don't know because we we imagine different and various things uh, from for the character of malcolm but uh, this gentleman is a real one you know the real gentleman stuff and uh, does not disappoint, I can say, for sure. And uh, then we have a change of events uh, that uh, will lead us uh, to our next character, uh, which is uh, Detective Fraser. I don't know. He's a typical, you know, have to do the right thing, policeman, and um, I'm going uh, by the book, and I want to do the right thing, this, this basically, and be, be okay with uh, my work, my colleagues, uh, the law, and uh, his life is not something uh, extraordinary, fabulous, you know you don't have to wait something basically every day is the same for him 
is, you know, the typical work 9 to 5, good job, I would like to be a good husband, make a family, this kind of stuff. And uh, this calm and easy pace of life, basically. And uh, he has a Niemann's uh, for Malcolm that uh, he's a criminal, which he is, <laughs> but, you know, uh, from the point of view of the police view, uh, he, he's a, you know, the bad monster that uh, has no feelings, etc, etc. Uh, but uh, we as the readers, that uh, we develop with the development of the character of Malcolm and connect with him and, uh, you know, see that he's a man of morals and uh, he, he is a criminal but he, he has uh, some values and ethical values that uh, he stands for them. So, he maybe is a criminal, but he is a good one because he is a man of his world. And, you know, this is a thing even in this world. Uh, so, in one hand, we have Malcolm, which uh, is a bad monster. And on the other hand, we have uh, Detective Fraser, which, you know, is a policeman and uh, wants to do the right thing, etc. etc. And uh, in the middle, we have Marie, and uh, Detective Luther has, uh, you know, this image of Marie, like, uh, you know, the innocent, uh, uh, the innocent little girl, let's say, that uh, is unsuspected, that um, is deep down the plot of uh, Malcolm's uh, plans, and uh, you know, she has fallen into the trap and uh, he wants to save her and make, uh, make her his woman and this kind of stuff. And... You know, I like, I like Marie because she, she maybe is, is elegant and seems uh, like... Um, she will shatter into pieces but that's only the outer image because deep inside she's a badass girl, a badass woman basically and um, she finds the strength to not only to be kind uh, towards everyone uh, but uh, to be a badass and uh, kick some shit out of uh, this fucking new, <sighs> new enemy of hers and her husband's of course of course i'm talking about savage uh, who is uh, the filthiest uh, i don't know you know you want to have harley queen's butt and uh, kick the shit out of him give him uh, some good punches and uh, because he deserves this and basically he deserves more and I really enjoyed the end because basically I cannot say because I don't want to make spoilers I said and I have made a lot of spoilers I believe by now but uh, I really enjoyed the end I really enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed the dynamics and um, the strength that Marie took and even from uh, the circumstances that uh, she lived and uh, experienced and uh, this uh, abuse uh, that uh, she, she lived um, and got out from uh, so you know I really enjoyed the end I can say more. I'm trying to find the world in order to not, uh, <laughs> you know, 
say anything that I don't have to say, but uh, and betray, betray the, the details and the, uh, the end of the plot. But uh, yes, so let's uh, let's leave it there. And uh, you have to read this book. You have to read it. Yes. Of course you have to read it because it deserves it and um, it has some uh, some topics inside that are um, make us uh, triggers it deserves to be read and uh, another thing is at uh, Goodreads I have uh, rated with uh, Four out of five uh, stars because Goodreads has that the um, the choice of uh, putting some uh, decimal uh, points and uh, like you know I wanted to to put this uh, four point nine out of five and uh, you can put uh, point nine or whatever point you want because. Um, it's only uh, one, two, three, four, five. So yes, this is uh, the reason because I put a four in uh, this. But in my heart is a five because I don't uh, rate by five. I would put a four point nine. This is a little explanation. Apart from that, the the, the thing that uh, impressed me is that. Um, you know, when I started and uh, got into the book and, uh, you know, I understood the way of writing and uh, the thing with uh, back and forth, back and forth, uh, I was like, hmm, I fear that um, I will not, uh, you know, sympathize with it and uh, get into the spirit, but uh, I was wrong totally wrong because you know I was like back and forth back and forth and uh, you know I will get lost in the details and uh, say okay so where I am and uh, uh, these details from the past or from the now and uh, the present you know uh, but it's so beautifully placed and written and it's so clear and uh, to the point that uh, doesn't give any chances of you to get lost in the details and you know it's uh, strictly you know the past the details and the the memories of the past, present, is now, and clear, and it's the present, and you understand it, and the limits are very strict, and uh, doesn't uh, get you confused at all. So this is a bonus thing, because uh, the, this uh, is something that I feared in the beginning, but it was amazing, really. The plot, what to say, amazing. The characters, I loved, I loved uh, Marie and Malcolm. Amazing couple. Uh, true feelings, you know, strong bond. And uh, beyond the the economical status and I believe this, this was beyond that it was uh, clearly about uh, the love and the bonding and uh, you know I think that you see a person and uh, you fall in love with them and that's it you know they are them so it's amazing an amazing couple and uh, amazing characters uh, separately too uh, you love to hate Savat because you know he's a filthy a filthy 
filthiest servants is this piece of proof. <laughs> and uh, you know, then you have the characters uh, that are with Malcolm and stand for him, and uh, you know, you sympathize with them, and you have uh, the detective, which is um, the man I described, and uh, you know. He gets in your nerves basically because he sees that uh, you understand it. You understand him from from one point of view, but from the the other point of view, you say that okay, man, you see the the woman is in love and uh, she's uh, with another man and they're married and they, why the fuck are you being messed with all this situation? Don't get in my nerves. Back off. It's it's so simple, um, but the best the best thing is how Mari, you know, makes the hard limits and uh, draws the line, you know, between them, and it's so. Uh, clear and uh, vivid inside of her and her feelings uh, are once again confirmed and for, for Malcolm and uh, of course from from the detective she becomes very very uh, clear for what she wants and what she stands for and uh, it's uh, a nice uh, unveiling of the character, let's say, uh, and yes, you you sympathize with her, you applaud her, and uh, you know you stand with her, and uh, then uh, for Malcolm too, and uh, them as a as a couple, you know they are very 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 nice couple that uh, you want them together you know and uh, you you worry until the end uh, if those two tormented souls will end up together and uh, or if we have a, a different ending I cannot say which ending we have <laughs> because you know you have to read this um, so once again, I started to talk, and I I see that I, I am talking for uh, twenty five minutes, and uh, you know I said I want to say a few words. These were not a few words. Well, okay. excuse me for this. Um, I hope I haven't made a lot of spoiler. But uh, definitely, I will say that read this amazing book by this amazing person. Because the writer of this book basically has a YouTube channel and uh, you have to find her and uh, follow her at her social media. No not my sponsor or anything, I just uh, felt that way and wanted uh, to say this and uh, you know, she's an amazing woman and her book is amazing and I would love a sequel, I would love, I demand it, <laughs> you know, uh, not that it makes any difference if I demand it or not, but I would love a sequel. Okay, let's and stick to the part that I want a sequel. <laughs> I want a sequel, yes. Uh, and I say no more because I will make spoilers. And definitely I don't want this. So yes, when this video here, I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. If you haven't understood this, but <laughs> yes. I have loved it again. Uh, definitely, we'll say at my library and read it again in the future. And uh, congrats 
to the amazing person that uh, wrote this book and uh, that's all I believe if you like the video uh, like subscribe to my channel for more and uh, of course comment below if you have read it and if not go buy it immediately it's so simple go buy it and read it and then comment below and tell me your opinion on this hope you're having amazing an amazing time and you are all good and see you soon at another video many many kisses Regardless, dreamy is the thing or can say it in front of the camera because YouTube basically I have said enough but uh, yes um, piece of the emoji you know Oof. this uh, I hope you understand what I wanted to say <laughs> yes Sabbath Well, and uh, you know, and maybe other uh, stories from the characters and or their typical everyday life and uh, how they get old. Okay, now. <laughs> I, I understood that uh, I made the spoiler of the end, so I will remove this from the video, you know? Uh, I hope you are all amazing! The outer noises get in my nerves, but and I'm not talking about the dogs, but uh, you know the vehicles and the, the screams and uh, okay, I have told this before, but <sighs> quiet at least. Uh, where was I? <laughs>